fate. The Lexus RX. Why settle for a copy when you can own the original? See your Lexus dealer. They use phony addresses and local phone numbers, and they are accused of preying on people caught in a desperate situation. Tonight, an Action News I-Team investigation reveals locksmiths who use what consumer advocates call the old bait-and-switch, and we catch them doing it with our undercover cameras. I-Team investigator Jackie Calloway discovered there's really nothing in place to stop these companies from taking advantage of you. They are accused of weaving a web of deceit and overcharging customers. I was livid. This is ridiculous. Unsuspecting Bay Area residents are often well, desperate by the time they call for help. I locked myself out of the house. We caught these locksmiths quoting locked out homeowners one price, then doubling and tripling the charge after they inspect the lock. I did not expect 170. Do you mind if we talk to you for a couple of minutes? We're getting some complaints. Absolutely not. How do they get away with it? because there are no regulations covering locksmiths in Florida. Right now, anybody can come to Florida, and within 24 hours, they can be a locksmith. The biggest danger is to the consumer. The lock actually locked itself from the inside. Carmela Salerno's experience sparked our investigation. Well, I thought it would be faster for me to just call somebody from local. This Sun City Center resident locked herself out of her utility room, then turned to the phone book for someone local. Locks and locksmiths. Locks and locksmiths list a Sun City Center address and phone number. I was quoted 35 and 25 an hour. Carmela insists the dispatcher quoted her $60, but then the man who showed up charged $150. He said, What do you think? I'm going to come out here for $60. I said, Well, that's what I was quoted. I'm going to see if there's a locksmith here. Turns out there is no locks and locksmiths as listed on Club Manor Drive. The company appears to have at least five alternate names and bogus addresses in Sun City Center alone. And the Yellow Pages is saying this is a locksmith business. There's never been any, anyone here like that. And all six numbers appear to lead to the same out-of-state dispatch center. Well, they didn't understand I was in Sun City. And they said, now you're near Palm City? And I said, I don't even know where Palm City is. Sun City residents C.P. Karmarski and Andrea Peterson agreed to let us set up undercover cameras in their homes. It's $29, what, 95 just for the service fee? Andrea says locks and locksmiths gave her an estimate of $55 to unlock her back door. So how long, when do you think? The dispatcher said 15 to 25 minutes, but two and a half hours later, the two technicians showed up. It took them less than 10 minutes to get in the door, but the $55 estimate turned into a $164 bill. He just said the kind of lock it was. The techs leave Andrea with an invoice without a company name or address. What is your fee to get me in? Then Andrea calls two different locksmiths. $50, okay, that sounds cool. In both cases, the technicians show up in under an hour, unlock her door within minutes, and charge what they quoted between $50 and $60. $20 service charge and then like $25 to unlock it. One of the same technicians from Locks and Locksmith's visit to Andrea unlocked CP's back door in a matter of minutes, but the $45 quote increased to a $125 charge. He said typically a $25 door would be something that was a real cheap lock. And this apparently is an older, more sturdy lock. So I'm Jackie Calloway. ABC Action News. How you doing? You the locksmith? Yeah. I caught up with one of the technicians in Tampa. People say that your company is quoting one thing on the um, phone, and then when uh, you get to well, when you get to the house, you're charging like double and triple. When you call, it says it's twenty nine dollars and up. But these per people lock. are being quoted fifty or sixty dollars, and they're charged upwards of one fifty, one sixty five. Lance is the name on his shirt. We don't know if that's his real name because he refused to give me any information about himself or who he works for. You have a legitimate business and you, you won't give me like the name no, of I the won't, company? No, I won't because you've saw it blindsided me, ma'am. Then I contacted their dispatch center but did not get a call back. The Better Business Bureau reports hundreds of locksmith complaints, but it's close to impossible to track down locksmiths like these. Remember, there is no state regulation. Only 15 states, and Florida is not one of them, require that they are licensed. There's no background checks, uh, no criminal records are looked into. Pat Sheehan, president of the West Coast Locksmith Association, is among those who supports legislation that would require licenses for locksmiths. So that uh, the state would have 
some authority to come in to step in when particularly our senior citizens have been abused. For three straight years, lawmakers have tried and failed to push through legislation that would require licensing, background checks, and training for locksmiths. More legislation is expected to be introduced next year. So how do you find a locksmith you can trust? Well, we can help you. Just go to our website. That's abcactionnews.com forward slash iTeam. Jackie Calloway, 